mistake. Admit it. At some point, you've been trying to format a Microsoft Word document to get all your text aligned nicely, and you've gotten so frustrated that you wanted to pick up your computer and throw it out the window. Well, that used to happen to me all the time until I figured out how to use tabs in Microsoft Word. Tabs are tools built specifically to make aligning text easy. And after you learn how to use tabs, I promise using Microsoft Word will be a completely different experience. So let's jump right in. So before we get started with tabs in Microsoft Word, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that the ruler is enabled. Now, the ruler should be enabled if you haven't changed the setting, but if for some reason you don't see the ruler on your page, all you need to do to change that is to click on view at the top of the screen on your ribbon and make sure that ruler is checked off. So if it's not there, you wouldn't see it at all. As soon as you check that box, the ruler shows up. The ruler is immensely helpful for setting tabs. So there are a couple of different kinds of tabs, actually more than a couple, there are five. We have left, center, right, decimal, and bar tabs. And we're gonna take a look at the function of each one. And the whole point of tabs is aligning text in certain ways on your page. So let's start with a left tab and I'll show you how that works. So we're going to set a left tab at four inches. To do that, I'm simply going to click right below the ruler at four inches. And now I have this little L-shaped bar right under four inches. That is now a left tab at four inches. So I can write something here and then tab over and it jumps immediately to the four inch mark. And then I can continue to type. I can move down a few lines, type something, tab all the way into that same tab and go ahead and put in some additional text. So I'm gonna delete that and now, if I want to change this tab to a different kind of tab, all I need to do is bring my mouse on top of it and double click and a tab editing box will pop up and it shows you the different types of tabs and then some options, including leaders, which we'll take a look at in a moment. So a left tab align the text to the left side. If we use the center tab, I can put in some text and tab over and now the text will be centered on that tab. If I come down, I can do the same thing once again. The text will be centered on that tab. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and let's turn this into a right tab. I think you can probably figure out what that does, but I click on right, I can put in some text and then it will align the text from the right side. So we can also then move this over if we decide we wanna move it to the six inch mark there. Now I've got some nice text always aligned toward the right side of my page, which is very useful. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to remove this tab. So to remove it, I'm simply going to click on it and drag it downwards. All right, so now we'll take a look at a decimal tab. So to add a decimal tab, I'm gonna to go to a spot on the ruler. I'm gonna pick the three inch mark, double click. And now I have my tab editor and we're going to select decimal. So I hit okay and a decimal tab is created. So this is gonna be really useful for um, putting any financial information in a document because basically what the decimal tab does is it aligns everything to the decimal point. So I can put in a bunch of numbers and they move towards the left side of the page. As soon as I hit the decimal point, the numbers now move to the right side of the page. As I do this, you can see that the decimal is always aligned towards that tab. No matter what I do, how many numbers I put in, that decimal is always centered on that tab. So again, it's gonna be really useful for financial information. Lastly, we'll change this to a bar tab and I'm actually gonna move it over. I'm gonna put it at the, the one inch mark on the page. So let's double click and we'll change that to a bar tab. Now, a bar tab doesn't align text. What it does is it makes a vertical bar um, at that point on your page. So this would be really useful for putting together, let's say a resume. I can put in a date, Right, and then I can just tab over to the other side of the page and start to put in some information. And I can move down. And in fact, it would be really useful if I set a left tab at the point where I want the other text. I can put in another date, you know, 306, 2019, and then tab over to that point in the page and I can then put in whatever text I want. Whoops. Right and constantly tab over to that other left marker. So what this bar tab does is it simply puts a vertical divider, which is very nice. Um, so now that we've looked at the different kinds of tabs, let's quickly look at a few other options. I'm just gonna get rid of these. Um, there are a couple of other options we have with tabs. I'm going to put a tab in at the four and a half inch mark and leave it as a left tab. So one of the things that we can enable is a leader. So if we double click on the tab and get the tab editing box, we have a couple different types of leaders. There's no leader and then a couple of different styles. So I'm going to select leader number two and I'm gonna put in some text. And as soon as I hit tab, 
it jumps over to my tab and fills in the space with these dots. This obviously would be super useful if you were putting together some kind of table of contents. Um, let's also take a look at the other styles of leaders. So we have dashes, right? So that works pretty well. And then we also have underscores, right? So any, if you wanna connect lines of text with any kind of dots or dashes or underscore or anything like that, a leader is going to do that automatically. Whereas in the past, you probably went like this which is frankly a waste of time now that you know how to use leaders with tabs. So by using left, center, right, decimal, and bar tabs, as well as leaders, you'll be able to make your documents look amazing without the frustration. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, hit the subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon, as well as two live stream project sessions at 10 and two every weekday. And check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops. And keep in mind, we can book a private lesson for you in any topic you want, whether that's Fusion 360 CAD modeling or how to use tabs in Microsoft Word. So definitely check out the DAE.com and get in touch if you have any questions. And if you have an idea for a future tech tip you'd like us to do, just put it in the comments and we'll do our best. Thanks as always for tuning in and have a great day.